Nike Blazers are easily my favorite sneakers ever, and yeah, these joints are a pain in the ass to put on, but these are still awesome, and I got five tips for y'all to styling this beautiful silhouette. First tip I got for y'all deals with the classic mid 77s or any model and that is to swap out the standard laces for some cream ones or you can do any color that you want some do come with extra laces but the classic mid 77s I think you should go for some cream ones because the outsole of these do have a cream hue to it and replacing the standard white laces for cream ones I think complements that classic vintage style of the sneaker and I just think it looks much much better you just want to make sure you get the right length I get the 70 inch one or 180 centimeters for those of you guys outside the US and I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can pick some up just check out the difference it's pretty significant and it's going to play off your outfit more because cream is that perfect color to complement almost any color i'm sure every one of you guys knows about lace swapping but not many people do it and for this model i think you should or don't you don't have to really do anything i say this is just a, a recommendation now the next tip i got for y'all is to show off that silhouette do not be afraid of showing off the whole sneaker and even some of your crew socks because the sneaker silhouette is so slim and the top of the sneaker is actually almost flush with your tiny calves and it's a pretty seamless transition kind of like Converse's. Now with Dunks and Jordans people don't actually like to see your crew socks for some reason I don't really get why but I imagine it's because the top of those sneakers do have a wider leg opening and is a little bit more chunkier and also I think a lot of people like lacing their J's a little bit loose. Now for this I do recommend having a pair of relaxed fitting pants. You can do it with skinnies that is up to you but I do think it does look better with more relaxed fitting pants. This gives your fit a little bit more dimension in my opinion like if you ever go to New York and you just see a long skyscraper you know something like on Billionaire's Row by Central Park. You know, it's fine, it's cool. Nothing's really going to wow you except for the height of the building and the interior. Now head towards Lower Manhattan, you're going to see that Jenga building. The angles, the protrusions, it makes the building a lot more interesting and it's also nice inside. And that's why I like cuffed pants. The transition between the wide cut of your pants to the crew socks and the sneakers is just chef's kiss and so with that you could also go with cropped pants i have these trousers from olive clothing they're pretty dope i also made my own cropped pants with these carhartt pants as well you also have shorts that you can add to the mix but i am more of a shorter dude and i just don't think it looks good on me you could probably pull it off though and so i'm just gonna put them side by side here's some slim pants and the relaxed fitting pants what do you guys think maybe i could be wrong here now i gotta take off my blazers for this next point to swap to a different model and that's probably gonna take like five hours goodness man these shoes can be quite annoying i can probably finish a Skillshare class in that time frame. As Skillshare is the sponsor of today's video and is an online learning community where millions of creative and curious individuals like you come to learn anything. I've personally been using Skillshare way before they sponsored the channel, over three years already, and I've gone through a ton of classes all from business, productivity, entrepreneurship, photography, video editing, interior design. There's just so much you can learn. I think you guys would probably like photography, videography, graphic design. Maybe you want to be a YouTuber or something. That's the number one job kids want nowadays. And if that's you, I definitely recommend watching Marquez Brownlee's class on Skillshare. His class is all about YouTube success and he goes through the behind the scenes of his channel you know the behind the scenes process like scripting production shooting b-roll and all that it's definitely helped me with my channel already and i definitely know it would help some of you guys who do want to be a youtuber and there's plenty of other classes most of them are under 60 minutes you can learn cooking or whatever you want and right now skillshare is hooking you guys up with the first thousand of you guys that click that link in the description you guys are going to get one month free of skillshare's premium membership and you can watch any classes you want you can probably get through multiple classes in those 30 days all you guys got to do is click that link in the description it really helps me out and thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video now the next tip that i have is probably going to scare some of you guys and that is to embrace color i personally refuse to buy the standard white and black blazer you know to be honest i'll probably get it eventually but for now i refuse to get it and i'm probably only going to stick to the colored ones because if you don't know how to wear color or you're just uncomfortable wearing colors i personally think the nike blazer is the easiest silhouette to start embracing color i mean you just got to throw it on any fits and you're already going to look like a color connoisseur check this out plain dark my chemical romance type beat kind of fits just throw on some colored ones and bam your fit has some color good job it's not even gonna overpower your fits at all and you're letting the sneakers and the color of the sneakers be the statement piece of your fit but also i 100 recommend diving head first into the colorful ball pits and just leaning into it try and make your whole entire fit colorful so i would obviously study a little bit of color theory it's not very hard i'll give a quick rundown on it analogous colors are colors next to each other on the color wheel so i really want you to take a step back and just look at some products around you let's just use sprite for example green and yellow are next to each other on the color wheel and hey would you look at that these blazers are already embrace that blue and purple look great i embrace that with this fit right here i got a short sleeve button up purple carpenter pants and the blue blazers 
looks pretty good. Don't forget about complementary colors. Think Nerf guns. The blue and orange one is what you're always going to see. Those are opposite sides of the color wheel and also why navy and brown always look good with each other. You know, just think of a navy suit and brown dress shoes. Navy and brown is technically blue and orange with black added to it. I utilize that in this fits with the Carhartt orange pants, but just went color crazy with the green and aqua. But again, just embrace it and lean into it. Also, check out these maroon blazers with these olive pants. Olive and maroon are red and green complementary colors with black added to it making it darker and still look great with each other and then you got silhouettes that are just already pre-color blocked just check out these super colorful blazers with this fit i tried to mainly keep it neutral try to stay away from whites and blacks so i went with more muted colors like cream and purple and i think i pulled it off maybe maybe not just be honest with yourself when you look in the mirror if you're feeling yourself you're feeling yourself okay next up this is going to make your life a lot easier and that is to leave the top three eyelids unlaced this is going to save your forearms and your finger strength when it comes to putting these sneakers on i personally don't think it looks as good though because i personally like the way it looks when it's fully laced and you don't really have to do that that's totally up to you sometimes it does look good when it's half laced but this is just to save you from breaking a sweat trying to put on some sneakers and my last tip is to branch outside the classic standard mid 77s there are collaborations like with sakai there's the sb versions you got super colorful ones the deconstructed mid edge ones i mean i should take my own advice on this and get the blazer lows because all the mids that i have don't fit on my shoe rack but yeah i like to think of Nike blazers as just noodle soups for me personally. I love noodle soups and it doesn't matter what time of the year, if it's hot or cold, I'm always down for noodle soups. Pho, ramen, BBH, one ton mean. Only getting the standard mid 77s in the black colorways, just like having pho forever, which I'm totally down for. I can do that all day, but there's just more out there for you to try. So the classic mids are made of leather, very simple. These SB ones and all SBs do have extra padding around the ankle area. There's more support with that extra zoom cushioning and is more durable to handle sliding across sandpaper thousands and thousands of times and having a variety just makes you appreciate the sneaker more one is going to be one of nike's first ever basketball sneakers and the other is the polymerization of two cultures two sports skateboarding and basketball and it's just a great sneaker that i think anybody can rock thank you guys for watching this video make sure to give it a thumbs up follow me on instagram and tiktok at fly with johnny ty if you guys haven't already, join my Vibely community. This is a place where you can post your fits and get some feedback from me or other members in the Vibely community. You can network there and it's just a better way to interact with me because I get a lot of DMs on Instagram. So unfortunately, I can't get to everyone, but in the Vibely community, I'm definitely in there. So until then, stay fly. Make sure you guys sign up for Skillshare. Deuces.